So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the parts off the trees. I'm going to uh, clip these two parts. Now when you're using, when you're clipping parts, uh, a lot of folks new to model building will use a nail clipper. Now it's kind of hard to get into some of these places. You know, granted some of these places can you can get to it, but you know it's a curved surface, and um, nail clippers nail clippers really aren't meant to be cutting uh, plastic trees. What I recommend using is either like a pair of nippers or from a hardware store a pair of uh, dikes. Now this have this has a straight edge, you know, and it, these can get right in there and um, get a nice little cut, cut. I have another tool that is similar for cutting. Now, and for cutting these pieces, I'm just going to cut just away from the part leaving a little bit of the nub there just so that I could sand these nubs later on now this will become important later on uh, when you're sanding this part now for example I'm just going to cut this nub right against the part I highly advise against doing this and I'll show you why when I, when I come down to sanding now once these parts are cut, you can see that you can see white uh, the white from plastic being stressed. Now since this white is right against the part, if I go down to sanding this, this whiteness uh, will be on the part. So the only way to fix this is to paint this. Now since I cut the nubs away from the part, I could kind of clean it up before I go into sanding still leaving a little bit of the nub there and then when I sand uh, all the stress marks should be sanded away because I'm not it's not right directly against the part 